Ukrainian reconnaissance drone struck a Tu-22M3 long-range strategic bomber, a missile carrier, at the Olenia airfield in Russia. A Tu-22M3 long-range supersonic bomber missile carrier was struck at the Olenia military airfield, the base of the strategic aircraft of the Russian occupiers, as a result of a DAU's operation near Olenogorsk, media of Ukraine reported. Distance from the border of Ukraine to the place of the special operation is 1,800 kilometers. On the night of July 27 and in the morning of the same day, Ukraine's intelligence attacked the air base in Engels in the Saratov region, Diagelevo air base in the Ryazan region, and Olenia air base in the Murmansk region. The attack by kamikaze drones also damaged an oil refinery in Ryazan. According to eyewitnesses, the first explosions at the Diagelevo airfield occurred around 6 a.m. local time. Social media posted footage of overflights and smoke, reporting at least three explosions. This airfield is home to the 43rd Center for the Combat Use and Retraining of Russian Aircrew. 295MS, 222M3, 2134UBL, and IL-78 aircraft are based here, and an aircraft repair plant is located nearby. The explosions at the Engels Air Base, where Russian strategic aviation is stationed, where around 8 a.m. local media reports indicate that Russian air defense tried to shoot down the drones but with no success. According to the sources, a Tu-22M3 long-range supersonic bomber missile carrier was damaged as a result of the hit on the Olenia Air Base. The results of the UAV's hits on other Russian military targets are currently being clarified. At night, Russians reported a drone attack on the Bryansk and Kursk regions. There were explosions there and air defense systems were operating. Russian Ministry of Defense said that a total of 12 drones were shot down over the territory of Russia that night, in the Kursk, Belgorod, Rostov, Bryansk, Lipetsk regions. A cholera epidemic has begun in Russian-occupied Avdiivka. The city has been closed for entry and exit. This was stated by the head of the Avdiivka City Military Administration, Vitali Barabash, on the air of a telethon. He recalled that Avdiivka was occupied by Russia in February 2024. According to him, the first few months, the Russian occupiers tried to launch the public utility service. People cleared the access roads and were paid 5,000 rubles for this. This has not happened for two weeks now because, according to information from several sources, there is a cholera epidemic in the city. That is, the city is closed to entry from Donetsk. People are not allowed out of the city, Barabash notes. He added that representatives of the occupation authorities bring in food products in special suits and gas masks, throw out this humanitarian aid and quickly leave. According to him, there are a lot of homeless dogs in the city that attack people. They say that there is a strong stench in the city from the bodies of dead people, and no one is looking into anything. This is probably why this cholera epidemic occurred. An epidemiological catastrophe is happening there, Barabash noted. The head of the Avdiivka MVA recalled that due to Russian shelling of the city, there were ruins left there, there was not a single surviving building. According to him, at the time when the defense forces withdrew from Avdiivka and the city was occupied, there were approximately 700 people left in it. And now, according to our data, although the information from there is coming in very locally in small volumes, 400 to 450 people remain in the city. Many of those who are waiting for the arrival of the occupation forces are already disappointed, Barabash said. He said that during the first two weeks after the occupation, more than 100 men who abused alcohol disappeared from the city. After that, Already near Ocheretino, several of them were taken prisoner. They were almost unarmed, untrained like cannon fodder, but since the locals know the area, they were taken as if they were in a barrier detachment, said the head of the Avdiivka MVA. As Yunayan reported, the Russians captured Avdiivka in February, but instead of a small industrial center, they got complete ruins, which they turned the city into. The New York Times article noted that according to estimates by Ukrainian officials and British intelligence, since January the 1st, the Russian army has dropped about 500 tons of air bombs on an area of only 30 square kilometers. The pre-war population of Avdiivka was 300,000 people.